Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so it's been eight months, eight and a half months about, and I just kind of wanted to update you guys where I'm at, how I'm doing. Um, my dogs are in the room, so if you hear jingling, it's them. The windows are open. It's a beautiful day in Philadelphia, so I have my windows open and the birds are chirping. So um, I'm back to work which is wild because you know eight months ago when i was walking around the house in a walker and a cane i didn't think that i would get to this point and it's pretty awesome to kind of see how the body can heal um, after having such a you know relatively major surgery especially compared to the other ones that i've had in my life um so i'm on my feet i ended up switching companies so you know it's a little bit less hours on my feet which is great and less times that I have to use a ladder compared to my previous job which is great and it's definitely what I needed um, so yeah it's been about a week that I've been back at work and I'm really happy to be back I'm still struggling with some pain um, certainly it's nowhere near as bad as it was before surgery um, but I still have those moments where I'm walking through the store and I get a really sharp um, like a stabbing sensation in my lower back and um, it kind of takes my breath away and I just like hold tight for a moment and then I just keep on going with my day and it goes away and it's um, you know I'm glad that it's short-lived I've brought it up to my uh, physical therapist and kind of asked her if it's something that I should worry about and she says at the time being not to just because I'm not used to spending you know eight to nine hours on my feet every day to just kind of allow my body a couple of weeks to kind of transition back into working on my feet and keep her posted and we can kind of go from there um, obviously i can still reach out to my doctor and my nurse case manager for uh, help if i need it but i'm gonna try to give it a couple of weeks just to you know hopefully it'll all subside um, my last visit with my doctor i showed him that I was able to literally lean forward and touch the ground with the tips of my fingers. And let me tell you guys, the moment that I was able to do that again was really, it was, it was incredible because, you know, like I said, using a walker could hardly move. And now I can touch the ground with my fingers. Now, I was able to do that before surgery. So I'm not saying if you have this surgery, you're going to be able to do it too. You know, this is just my pre and post results. Obviously, everybody and every body is different and how you heal and, you know, your range of motion is going to be different. But, you know, I am able to, to do that once again. And that was definitely something that I set as a personal target. I wanted to be able to touch the ground once again. And so knowing that I was able to do that, showing my surgeon that I was able to do that by that point, he was just like, all right, you're ready. Like you're done. So, um, I don't go back and see him again until one month, one year post op. And I'll have to go in for another set of x-rays just to kind of check on everything. Uh, that's Dolly. Um, and then we'll probably be done, hopefully be done. But again, you know, I'm still having some issues, but it is what it is. It's a very intense, very, you know, tough surgery. And I guess I was kind of already expecting that there would be some, you know, some level of pain for a, you know, unknown amount of time. I'm okay with, you know, having this level of pain, which is relatively minuscule compared to what it used to be. So, you know, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm really happy to be able to report that, that this is where I'm at. So if anybody has any questions, you know, you can always uh, reach out to me and reach out to me on Instagram. That's typically where I'll be most responsive. But I hope you guys have an awesome day wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.